Good morning everybody. A fairly early one. We got here when it was still dark. You still got my headlamp on I think. Let me take that off. First throw, we're down here somewhere where I don't even know where I am, but we followed Paula, he's joined us for the day. And first throw, not even five minutes, resulted in a broken hook and a fish gone. So we're not off to a very good start. But we've got a variety of bait here today. We've started from prawn, we've got choco, we've got sardine, we've got red bait, uh, we've got some armadillos for crackers, which we're going to throw later as soon as the tide gets a little bit low. It's on just about full high now, but I think it's called Shelly Beach, if I'm not mistaken. First time for me here, yeah? and uh, yeah, so first throw was a decent bite, but unfortunately the hook didn't hold, which I think was a cracker. If you get them in the teeth sometimes, the hooks struggle. But we'll continue and uh, hopefully we can get a bend in the rod. It's looking really nice. The wind is up a little bit. It said it was going to die later, hopefully. But for now it's not too bad. So stick with us. Let's see if we can get some fish out. Burger comes in layers, so I'm going to make my bait in layers. That's the one. anything it's gonna be this. Okay. fishing at Cape St. Francis obviously and uh, yeah we our target species for today was a chalun and a cracker and yeah not the biggest chalun but it's a chalun so hopefully we catch another one Should I wrap him like a Christmas present? Just a little poliki. Yeah, look at my hands. That's it! Oh, 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 oh. oh look at that. 
awesomeness. St. Francis, and we've got a nice zebra off the rocks with the bushing tide. Fishing has been slow, so yeah, let's see if we can get some more fish coming in with the bushing tide. Yeah, and you look at it, it looks like the lagoon's right here. No, it's just a little bit. We're going to get them. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't get them. Awesome. Some nice sizes too, they're a lot bigger than what they used to be. Take a look at this one. So, this has been hanging outside for about three days. Oh, just look at that. But you, you definitely. This one I ain't going to lick. But it gets a little leathery texture to it smooth slimy but you do not want to smell this stuff i can't say it stinks but it's got a very which is absolutely magnificent but i definitely oh my oh, word Ugh. yeah you don't want to smell that one though good morning everyone it's a little bit late today already tiring up here with me we've come down to the spot we were at how long ago weeks ago. We got all our black towels and uh, a couple of zebras and things like that. We actually got here fairly early this morning but there hasn't really been much happening. We're waiting for the tide to come in. Hopefully it can push away all this grass that's in the water. The weather we've had over the last few days has just been absolutely terrible. Howling onshore winds, we had the rivers coming down, the lagoon burst open. If you have a look at the beach over here, there's just debris lying everywhere. So the sea is full of grass. And it's just making it a bit of a nightmare to feel bites or anything like that. Hopefully, when the tide pushes, it's going to push it all into the corner of the bay yard and leave this area clean. That's what we're hoping for. But we've got a variety of baits. Is that red bait you guys saw earlier on, that stinky stuff. We've got some sand prawns. Uh, I think I've got a bit of chocker over here, which I'm probably not going to use. But we can only try and see what's going to happen. We've got old Jeffrey here. You guys remember him from the Bronx Spring video found him sleeping here amongst the sandbags with some lost child. <laughs> hey Jeff! The Jeffrey from Jeffrey's Bay. <laughs> so yeah, stick with us guys. We can only push through and hope that something better comes along. See you later. Oh, fishy, fishy, fishy. Yeah, he might have a fish on. Oh, oh. Oh, how fucked is your red bait? It's not a fish. It's uh <laughs> <laughs> So the last while there's been hectic storms and stuff, so as you can see on the beach, after that you get lots of red bait on the beach. Best time to go grab yourself some. And yeah, so I've got a head here, as you guys can see. I'm gonna cut it open for you quick. Okay guys, so let's open this head. See all the lacquer juices coming out. There you go. Got a nice smell to it as well. So it's not fresh. <laughs> there we go. Nice big head. There we go. One head there. Another head. And there's lots of these heads lying around.
happy stuff. this up on the rocks. Now you can see a Michael Paris trace from far away. Circle hook, red float, little piece of rope. That is what we call a Michael Paris trace. So you must have lost it just somewhere. But don't worry Mark, we got your trace back for you. We'll bring it. So we always tell everybody, not a lot of cotton. You see most of the cotton up at the top here, that's basically got nothing on it. So all the front pieces get kept soft. You want that bait to have a bit of movement. You don't want it tied on with a hell of a lot of cotton. There, we picked up one of Michael Paris's traces, and there's two more of his traces. Michael, what is going on? But I appreciate the sinkers, though, Mark. I really do. Thanks.
Gotta make sure he's fussed. What size are you using? 6 up. All we're filming today is bait presentations. <laughs> That's all we do. Bait presentations and throwing. Whole afternoon. <laughs> 